Hello, and here is chapter 3. In this chapter, we are going to see how to set the ROS development environment. This chapter describes how to install the ROS and how to set the environment for ROS development, and check if the ROS is properly installed. So here starts ROS installation and the test. In the ROS wiki, it describes how to install ROS, but there are too many guidelines to follow. So sometimes the installation makes someone very annoying. Therefore, here you have one line installation command. You can put this into your terminal and press enter a couple of times, then the installation will be finished. How do you think about this? If you have not installed yet, let's do it now. And I will go to the next stage, supposing you have already installed the ROS. The full installation has taken about 20 minutes in my computer, but the term will vary with the environments. But for just in case, you should know how to install the ROS manually, then you can follow the guide describing the ROS wiki here. Like this. So this is the manual of ROS installation. Follow the descriptions, put the comments into your terminal. But this is a manual for ROS Kinetic on Ubuntu, so if you are interested in the other version of ROS or the operating system, go back to here. And you can choose the operating system that you are using. And if you are interested in another version of the ROS, then you can just go to download. Then you can choose the version, not a version of the ROS. The ROS Lunar here is the next version of the Kinetic Kemi. So if you are use, going to use the Lunar, then you can go here. And if you are using the Ubuntu, then click here. And following the descriptions for the installation. So there are many things to do in ROS environment settings, but if you are installed the ROS by one line installation, you don't need to follow the guide. Then let's see what's changed in Bash RC. Type above, then you can see the following. These are the lines of ROS environment settings, and some of the lines here are not described in the manual. These lines are like a shortcut command. The alias means that the next word of the alias will act as the next command. For example, if you put cs into the terminal, they will move to source folder in the catkin workspace. The sharp in front of the export makes the following line as an annotation, so the line will not be run. We annotate this because we will run the ROS in localhost, but later we will do practice with the IP. So let's check if the ROS is installed properly. Open the terminal by pressing Ctrl Alt T, then the terminal will be opened. This terminal is called Terminator. You can just easily download by typing sudo apt-get install terminator. But in this computer, the terminator is already installed, so I will pass the process. And let's here you should put the uh, command in the terminal. Let's do the ROS core. The ROS core 
is now running. After that, open the terminal. In here, I will open the extra terminal in the terminator and put the ROS1 to the same to the same node. Okay, so this is different kind of total, but it will be randomized for each open of the terminal. And secondly, open more one terminal and put total same total p key then the terminal shows reading from keyboard keyboards use arrow keys to move the total this means um, you can input the uh, arrow keys then the total will move like this you can regard this total as your robot what you were going to um, use We'll talk about how to uh, move this kind of total movement later, later in this chapter. And you can also um, test the architecture graph. Okay. So um, this is the. Um, node graph that is running in the ROS core and this is a node the name and that this is a topic but we will um, describe this in details later of this chapter so quit from the graph and go back to the PDF so Let's go to the integrated development environment available in ROS. There are various editors that are useful for ROS development, but here we recommend three editors. One of them is Kitty Creator. This is used commonly for making the GI program. The second one is a Visual Studio Code. In the tutorial, I will use the editor. The third one is Eclipse. This editor used to be used by many people from various fields. So you can choose one of these to follow the tutorial, or also you can choose one of the others. But to follow the god well, I recommend you to use the Visual Studio Code editor. 